two years later down the road when I met my wife now, Susan. I was still like messing up a little bit here and there and she just made me realize like, I got a good thing going here and I need to take advantage of it while I can. So it was definitely cool. Once he met Susan, I think Susan probably started straightening him up a little bit, you know. I think she had a big impact on his life. You know, he was pretty lax and like I told him several times, you know, this, this is a great job, you know. I mean, you should take it serious and go do this. And I guess when he got Susan, she, she finally sunk it into his head, you know, that, you know, this is a good opportunity. She kind of put him in check and was like, you know what, you're going to go out and make money and support us because you can, so why don't you go do it? And I think that's when the whole change came about. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> With the introduction of the backflip into freestyle motocross, Twitch heads to Las Vegas to meet with his good friend, Kerry Hart, and learn the flip. When I first built my foam pit, I was very selective about who I let right out there. I mean, understandably, I, I had the only one in existence and spent a lot of money to build it. So I only let like my really close friends come out there. And I remember the first trip out, I think it was Sync, Feist, and Twitch. Having to learn a backflip on a dirt bike was scary, for sure. We were tripping, because I've never, none of us even jumped in a foam pit before, period. Just to jump in the pit, like we were like sketched out. Mm -hmm. 